hello friends welcome back to our channel so today we'll see how to build and run the docker image so in our previous session we have seen the introduction to the docker so we have seen a various components in the docker that is a, what is a docker engine what is a docker container docker image as well as a docker hub so in order to uh, deploy any application in the production system with a consistent way in any environment we will going to use that docker then and also we have seen how to install the docker in our system so first we will see how to build uh, and run the docker images right so let us go with the terminal so we have written a small program uh, let us move on with this folder docker demo so cd uh, docker demo and here i have written a small program called hello.java okay so for, we need to we'll check whether we can compile it or not hello.java java c sorry java c hello.java so actually java was not installed in my system and when I try to execute this hello.java, we are getting that command java c not found, but can be installed. So we can install by using these commands and then we can compile and execute the program. Now I am not installing any java software, any JDK software here, right? Let me edit that program. So gedit hello.java. You can observe this is a small program. Welcome to Docker session. Right. So now how we can execute this one by using the docker image. So first thing we require is a docker file. Okay. So we need to create a docker file. So let me tell you about that docker file. See. And. Uh, yes. Let me close all these things so that we can have a look about uh, dockers right yeah so first we have to create a docker file and remember the name should be same okay so this is a docker file d should be capital and all the remaining letters will be small and what is this docker file so this docker file is a text file so it is text file that contains all the instructions all the commands or instructions we can call anything or instructions need to be executed right a user uh, could call on the command line okay command line in order to execute the program Okay, in order to execute the program, what are the commands? Usually, in order to execute the Java command, what we have to do? So, two commands. One is Java C and uh, file name uh, dot Java. So, in this delimiters, we have to give the file name. And the next one is the Java uh, and the same name, uh, file name. That means a class name. We, we usually give the class name, right? So, these two instructions should be included in this Docker file okay and apart from these instructions initially in our system we are not having the see i'm checking out the version of java which is not available in my system right so first we have to import everything from the java package okay so let us let me create this docker file so that you will be understanding so gedit d should be capital and uh, docker file right so now here we have to start from instruction from open jdk this is the image already available so we have to uh, let me increase the font size so that you will be comfortable with that yeah we'll go with the 24 yes yes now it is clear so from open jdk open jdk is already available image from that image we are taking the java right and next uh, change the work working directory so go with the working directory and uh, use the conventions 
so the instructions should be in a capital letter so this is a convention okay this is not a mandatory so here from work directory everything comes under the instructions and the next followed by we are calling it as an arguments okay so work directory i am changing it to app and now copy everything copy everything so dot represents everything everything into app and now we have to give the instructions what is the instructions first we have to give we have to compile the program so run uh, what is the compilation java c and hello dot java and the next one is a class file so command to be get executed right so this is the instruction command and here you give java and give the class name so class name is equal to the program name you need not give the extension right so here we need not give the extension for this docker file right so docker file itself is be the text file okay which will be having all the instructions see you here we have given the package from where we have to get the java because in our system we don't have the java and the next working directory i have changed that working directory to some slash app and i have copied everything so here i've given dot dot means everything into that particular app so uh, the hello dot java will also be in that particular app now uh, i have executed this one so that the compilation will be done and then the command which to be executed uh, to run the application is java help so here uh, save this program and now we have to build the program so build image sorry build image so what is the command for build image so that is sudo docker build hyphen t and give the image name so what is the image name followed by dot everything will be built this is for building an image so same thing will apply here so sudo docker build hyphen t give the name it as uh, let it be docker1 okay docker1 or uh, simply we'll go with a welcome docker right welcome doctor docker dot dot is compulsory right this is a syntax for building an image a docker image so this use this docker file okay whatever the instructions we are giving here that will be built that means a compilation will be done for all the uh, instructions which we are given in the docker file if you press enter you can check see it will prompt for the password so go with the password So you can check. So this is a compilation process. See, step one from OpenJDK, it was done. Work directory, it was done. Copy, it was done. Run Java C, it was done. CMD, it was done. So successfully built and successfully tagged welcome Docker latest. And now we can check what are the images. So check out uh, for images so for that the command will be sudo docker images so there you can find everything so i'll clear the screen so here you can see sudo docker and give the images see these are all the images which are running here okay so 16 days 16 months 11 days back and uh, nine minutes ago and nine minutes ago we have created this welcome dot uh, welcome underscore uh, docker right so already the image image is available and in order to run this one so still you can observe in our system we don't have the java so if you check for the version we'll be getting java not found but still we can execute the program see now how to run the docker image so docker image is completed so running docker image so for this the command is sudo docker run image name and dot dot is an optional so you can go with this one docker run image name so that automatically the docker image will be executed that means a container will be executed in our local system now you can check uh, sudo docker run 
what's the image name welcome dot docker i think right welcome dot docker if you execute see welcome to docker session now you can check with the java program so g edit uh, hello dot java and you can check out see you can check out that welcome to docker session and this is a hello dot java and without still we are not having the java in our system see java was not installed so you can install by using everything so we we have not installed the java here but still we are running the program we are executing the program right by using the docker image in the docker image we have given the complete docker file it's an complete instructions right so it will be used used to create the docker images so now you can check with the docker images so sudo docker images so these are all the different images right so this is how we can uh, create or build a docker image and we can run and also we can go with the i uh, see we can edit the docker file we can also edit the docker file see uh, i'll create one more file so g edit uh, i'll go with the python so welcome dot py python so just i'll write print so welcome to doc docker session program in python so this is the command we have given so i'll save this one and now we'll change the docker file right so we'll change the docker file so let us check uh, ls yes so we can check with the docker file so g edit uh, docker file so the same file will be same and modify the content so instead of jdk so we have to go from python 3 so this is a image already available so the remaining is same and here uh, we need not run anything we can we need not run anything we can simply command and to execute any python program so it will be python and give the command welcome dot py so this is a command we need to execute and we'll just save it and we can check so ls so welcome dot py now you can build the image sudo uh, docker uh, build hyphen t and here i will go with the python docker right dot so you can check the processing uh full access denied from python 3 repository does not exist or may require a docker login denied request okay so actually so i i think we can change the docker file so sorry g edit docker file and uh, yes we, we can remove the tree so we can check out now so i'll clear everything so sudo so our file name is welcome.py so sudo docker build mm, the next one is a hyphen t and we can give the docker name image name so i'll go with the python underscore docker and dot and see let us check whether it is yes so there is a image called a docker image called python so from python it is pulling the library and we it was downloading all the required uh, softwares or uh, any configuration files here so once it was done obviously we can able to execute that program also right you can check so 16 uh, mb of 49.5 mb okay so it was completed one file has been completed and remaining were in the waiting state so once it was completed the remaining will be in the queue so it may take some time so meanwhile you can subscribe to our channel and explore more and practice more on these devops tools so in our further sessions we'll see uh, how can we push the docker images to the docker hub and in our previous session we have seen the docker hub is a public registry where the docker images will be available right so that anyone can use those docker images similarly we are using like python right so we in our next session we'll push the whatever the docker images we have created in this session everything into the docker hub so that it will be available as a public 
and see only one file is remaining. So it was completed. You can see downloaded your image and uh, let us check with the uh, images which are available. So the command sudo docker images. So here you can see python docker which was created latest 14 seconds ago. Now you can run it. So sudo docker run the image name python dot docker. So we get a welcome to docker session program in python which we have written in the python program right so this is how we can uh, build the docker images and we can run the docker images okay so without any software installed in our system so we can get it from the packages different packages or any images okay so one thing we have to remember in order to build any python uh, i mean docker image so we need the complete instructions in a text file called docker file so we have to give us complete specific instructions there right so hope you enjoyed the session if you really and uh, really understood the session and enjoyed the session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much